PowerMax 45 is a versatile and powerful plasma system. It is designed to use either a handheld or mechanized torch for cutting and gouging metal. The system is easy to set up and operate. But please be sure to follow all safety instructions mentioned in the operator manual or illustrated on the label on top of the system. It is extremely important that operators fully understand and follow prevention methods to guard against electrical shock and to protect skin, ears, lungs, and eyes. Since there are so many variables in setting up the PowerMax 45 for mechanized applications, this video will focus on manual operation. Setting up the PowerMax 45 for manual operation can be done in seven easy steps. First, check the proper installation of the torch consumables by unscrewing the retaining cap to remove the parts within. Replace the parts by first inserting the electrode, then the swirl ring, followed by the nozzle. Screw the retaining cap on until finger tight. Do not over tighten as the consumables may become damaged and interfere with proper operation. Second, connect the torch lead to the front of the power supply. Third, pull back the quick release collar on the gas hose and insert on the quick disconnect fitting. The gas can be either bottled nitrogen, bottled air, or compressed air. Air should be filtered to remove all dirt, water, and oil because contaminants can damage the power supply, torch, and consumables. The minimum gas pressure is 80 PSI or 5.5 bar and should not exceed 100 PSI or 6.9 bar. Fourth, plug the power cord into the proper receptacle, then power on the system. The power lamp on the front of the system illuminates. However, depending on the model, a plug may not be attached to the power cord. If the installation of a plug is required or the system is to be hardwired to a power source, the work must be done by a licensed electrician. For input voltage requirements, the data plate on the bottom of the system or the operator manual has more information. Next, set the mode switch to the middle setting for plate cutting. We will review the other settings momentarily. If the LED bar in the pressure gauge is illuminated green, the gas pressure is set correctly. If the LED is yellow, the gas pressure needs adjustment. To adjust the gas pressure, turn the amperage knob all the way counterclockwise to the gas test position. Then pull the regulator knob to unlock it. Turn the knob until the green LED appears in the center of the pressure bar. Then push the regulator knob to lock it. Adjust the amperage knob to 45 amps for full cutting power. If cutting thin metal, the amperage may be lowered for improved consumable life and cut quality. The temperature, fault, and torch cap sensor LEDs should not be illuminated. Last, attach the work clamp securely to the workpiece or the cutting table near the cut. Rust, paint, or coatings must be removed to ensure that the clamp has a good electrical contact. The clamp should never be attached to the portion of the metal that will fall away. Avoid unnecessary starts because they reduce nozzle and electrode life. To perform an edge start, hold the torch vertically just off the edge of the workpiece. Flip the yellow safety trigger forward and press the red torch trigger. The pilot arc transfers to the workpiece and becomes the cutting arc. Pause at the edge until the arc has completely cut through the workpiece, then proceed with the cut. The nozzle may be placed on the workpiece for ease of cutting. If using unshielded consumables, maintain approximately 1 8 inch or 3.2 millimeters torch to work distance. 
When nearing the end of the cut, angle the torch into the direction of the cut, allowing the arc to come out first to ensure a complete cut. Maintaining proper travel speed is key to successful cutting. Watch the arc beneath the plate as sparks should lag 15 to 30 degrees behind the cut. If the sparks are vertical, then the speed is too slow. If the sparks are perpendicular to the cut or are spraying up from the workpiece, then the speed is too fast or the system does not have sufficient power. Lag lines on the finished cut edge should also be about 15 to 30 degrees. A plasma cutting guide, straight edge, or template can be used to guide the torch. However, the distance from the shield center to the edge must be factored in when creating a template or placing the straight edge. If you are beveling using an angle iron, plasma cutting guide, or free hand, remember that the material thickness increases proportionally with the bevel angle. The piercing capability of a system is typically half of the maximum cut capacity. Depending on the thickness of the metal being pierced and the system being used, there are two methods of piercing. If piercing thin metal, hold the torch perpendicular to the workpiece and pull the trigger to transfer the arc. If piercing thick metal, hold the torch at an angle so that the nozzle is within 1 8 of an inch or 3.2 millimeters from the workpiece. Pull the trigger to transfer the arc, then slowly rotate it to an upright position. In both methods, when sparks are exiting from the bottom of the workpiece, the metal has been pierced and then cutting can begin. To prolong the life of consumables, it is recommended that the second method be used to minimize damage to the consumables caused from molten metal blowback. To cut expanded metal, or metal with a lot of holes or gaps, set the mode switch to expanded metal cutting, which is the top position. This enables the system to automatically reinitiate the pilot arc without re-triggering. To cut, simply follow the same procedures as outlined for plate cutting. To gouge, first turn off the system Install the gouging consumables, then restart the system. Set the mode switch to gouging, which is the bottom position. Next, to get a wider, diffused arc for gouging, turn the current knob all the way counterclockwise to the gas test position. Then pull the regulator knob to unlock it. Turn the knob until the green LED appears in the center of the pressure bar. Adjust the amperage knob to 45 amps for full gouging power. Hold the torch at approximately a 45 degree angle from the workpiece with a small gap between the torch tip and the workpiece. Then, pull the trigger to transfer the arc. Maintain this angle and slowly move the torch along the workpiece to remove unwanted metal or weld. If a shallower gouge is desired, decrease the angle of the torch. For a deeper gouge, increase the angle of the torch or make additional passes. Cut quality and consumable life are two very important factors for operators. To ensure that the torch consumables last as long as they are designed to last and perform to manufacturer specifications, follow the instructions in this video. Refer to the supplied cut charts for proper setup and follow proper maintenance procedures. A number of factors determine how long consumables last. Air quality, piercing technique, length of average cut, operator skill, material thickness, and material type all play a role. Reduced system performance and cut quality are often caused by poor air quality.
so be sure to maintain clean, dry, oil-free air. Hypertherm offers a variety of accessories designed to enable you to get more out of your PowerMax 45 and to protect your investment. These include air filters, plasma cutting guides, leather torch sheathing, system dust covers, face shields, and gloves. For more information about any Hypertherm product, please contact an authorized distributor or visit our website at www.hypertherm.com. Please register your system online at www.hypertherm.com slash register. Thank you from all of us at Hypertherm for purchasing a PowerMax 45.